House Leader, third party. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. I rise again today to speak on behalf of my community and to state our opposition once again to the ludicrous notion that massive amounts of contaminated soil ever should have been placed directly into our drinking watershed, potentially impacting the drinking water of 12,000 residents. It isn't just me who thinks this, Honourable Speaker. It isn't just my community and numerous experts that believe that this risk is unacceptable. The Premier himself has also stated his opposition. In January of 2017, the Premier stated, quote, when the plan to dump contaminated soil in the Shawnigan Lake watershed was put forward, new Democrats stood with the Shawnigan Lake community against it. They are now in government, Honourable Speaker. And my question through you, Honourable Speaker, is to the Premier and his government. Do they still stand with the people of Shawnigan Lake on this issue? Minister of the Environment and Climate Change Strategy. Thank you, Honourable Speaker, and thank you again to the, uh, the member for both her question and for her advocacy for her community, as well as for uh, protection of drinking water and the environment generally. I also want to recognize the many residents of the area who have uh, spoken to this, advocated on this issue, brought it to public attention, and continue uh, to stand up for uh, the protection of their drinking water. Honourable Speaker, uh, when we were in opposition, our position was clear. Our position was clear that the people's uh, drinking water should not have been compromised. The dumping stopped. We are now in government, and we are working hard and diligently through a number of measures, ministry staff, independent uh, professionals reviewing plans, collecting data to ensure that uh, that the end of the day, the drinking water for the residents of Shawnigan Lake will be protected, and that the, uh, the uh, plan, the completion of uh, dealing with the contaminated soil on the site is scientifically based, protects people's environment and drinking water. House Leader, third party on a supplemental. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. And, and, and these sound like words that we'd, we've heard for many years in Shawnigan. My community is still struggling with the fact that the contaminated soil deposited at this site could remain there and that more soil could be coming, and that this government has been unable or unwilling to resolve this issue. I want to restate some of the Premier's words from 2016. In an interview with Focus magazine, he stated the following, it's not rocket science, it's not even science. It's a tone-deaf government that didn't look at the circumstances they were creating. Shut this thing down and let's start working on a solution that's in the interest of the people that live here. I and my constituents have serious concerns that the closure plan in front of the Minister of Environment is not in the interest of the people who live in Shawnigan Lake. In the spring of 2016, the Premier stated, quote, the government is not listening to the people here. They are listening to the permit holders. It's time that the government represented the people and not the permit holders. My question is to the Premier, will his government listen to the people now, many of whom he used to represent as an MLA, and not allow for the permit holders to dictate a solution that is not in the best interests of the people of Shawnigan Lake. Minister of the Environment and Climate Change Strategy. Thank you very much, uh, Honourable Speaker. And again, uh, to the member, uh, the Premier spoke uh, in the House about the situation in Shawnigan Lake when he was the leader of the official opposition. The member's predecessor as MLA, Bill Routley, uh, raised uh, over 30 times in question period and statements the issues. The member asks what this government is doing to protect the, uh, the water and the environment for the residents of Shawnigan Lake. We uh, are being as transparent as we can be, Honourable Speaker. The surface and groundwater in the area are monitored monthly. Status reports are submitted twice every month to the Ministry. All of these reports are posted. The member, as well as people from the community, have met with Ministry staff on more than one occasion. They have had a comprehensive discussion about the draft closure plans that were posted so they could, in fact, review it and give us their comments. Their input and their commentary is taken very, very seriously. At the end of the day, Honourable Speaker, the information that will come before me upon which I will make a decision will be whether or not a closure plan as proposed is adequate or whether it is inadequate. 
We take that issue very seriously in the ministry. It is being reviewed carefully as we speak, and I intend to give it the kind of rigorous review to protect water and the environment for the residents of Shawnigan Lake that they deserve, they deserve no less.